Bank of America clients have withdrawn $2.3 billion from U.S. stocks, according to a note from bank strategist Joe Carey Hall. The clients sold roughly $2.3 billion in U.S. equities last week. This comes as Bofay's clients withdrew $451 million from real estate stocks last week, the largest withdrawal since July 2021. So in this video, we are going to discuss Bank of America clients withdraw $2.3 billion from U.S. stocks. Now before we get into this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed. I will try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. Bank of America Corporation clients sold U.S. equities of all sizes last week, pulling roughly $2.3 billion despite the relative quiet in the stock market. The reason behind Bank of America clients withdrawing $2.3 billion from U.S. securities is not specified in the available search results. According to a note from bank strategist Jill Carey Hall, Bank of America clients sold roughly $2.3 billion in U.S. equities last week, and this was the second consecutive week of outflows. The selling was broad-based across client groups, including institutional, hedge funds, retail, and size segments. The analysts did not specify the reasons for the withdrawal, which was evident across all client groups. However, the bank recorded the biggest real estate outflows since mid-2021, and exchange-traded funds, ETS, posted their biggest outflow since January across all styles, including growth, value, and blend, and across small, mid, and large-cap ETS. That was the second consecutive week of outflows, Bofay strategists led by Joe Carey Hall wrote in a note Tuesday. The analysts didn't specify the reasons for the withdrawal, which was evident across all client groups. Selling was pronounced among institutional, retail, and hedge fund clients. The outflows come as uncertainty brews about the staying power of this year's rally in the S&P 500. Conviction among traders has been missing lately, with the gauge posting its sixth straight day of moves less than 0.6% in either direction on Tuesday, the longest stretch of stasis since 2021. Bank of America is a global financial institution that provides a wide range of financial services to individual customers, small and middle market businesses, and larger corporations. It is currently the second largest banking institution in the United States, serving more than 10% of all American bank deposits. The bank's primary financial services revolve around commercial banking, wealth management, and investment banking. Bank of America is a global leader in wealth management, corporate and investment banking, and trading across a broad range of asset classes. It was formed through Nations Bank's acquisition of Bank America in 1998 and is headquartered in Charlotte, North Carolina. What are the potential consequences for Bank of America? The potential consequences for Bank of America due to the withdrawal of $2.3 billion from U.S. stocks by its clients are not clear from the available search results. However, the note from bank strategist Joe Carey Hall suggests that clients sold both single stocks and ETS for the second consecutive week, while selling was broad-based across client groups including institutional, hedge funds, retail, and size segments. The selling was pronounced among institutional, retail, and hedge fund clients. Bofay's clients yanked $451 million from real estate stocks last week, which was the largest withdrawal since July 2021. On the other hand, communication services and staples were the only two sectors to see in flows. It is worth noting that Bank of America has been forecasting a 2023 recession. The potential consequences for Bank of America may depend on various factors, such as the reasons behind the withdrawal, the duration of the outflows, and the behavior of other investors in the market. Following the always eagerly awaited Friday's jobs report, investors have been bracing for Wednesday's inflation print and the start of the first quarter earnings season, which is expected to post the biggest contraction since the onset of the pandemic, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. Bank of America clients are not specified in the notes from bank strategist Jill Carey Hall. However, data compiled by Bank of America showed that clients sold both single stocks and ETS for the second consecutive week, 
while selling was broad-based across client groups, including institutional, hedge funds, retail, and size segments. The selling was pronounced among institutional, retail, and hedge fund clients. Bofa's clients yanked $451 million from real estate stocks last week, which was the largest withdrawal since July 2021. On the other hand, communication services and staples were the only two sectors to see inflows. The implications of the withdrawal of $2.3 billion from U.S. stocks by Bank of America clients are not clear from the available search results. However, the note from bank strategist Jill Carey Hall suggests that clients sold both single stocks and ETS for the second consecutive week, while selling was broad-based across client groups, including institutional, hedge funds, retail, and size segments. The selling was pronounced among institutional, retail, and hedge fund clients. On the other hand, communication services and staples were the only two sectors to see inflows. It is worth noting that the stock market remained relatively quiet despite the withdrawal. The potential consequences of the withdrawal of $2.3 billion from U.S. stocks by Bank of America clients are not clear from the available search results. However, the note from bank strategist Jill Carey Hall suggests that clients sold both single stocks and ETS for the second consecutive week, while selling was broad-based across client groups including institutional, hedge funds, retail, and size segments. The consequences of such a large withdrawal from U.S. stocks may depend on various factors, such as the reasons behind the withdrawal, the duration of the outflows, and the behavior of other investors in the market. There are various websites that provide up-to-date information on the U.S. stock market, including market data, news, and stock quotes. Some examples include The Wall Street Journal, CNBC2, CNN3, MarketWatch, and Reuters5. These websites offer information on major indices, such as the NASDAQ Composite, S&P 500, and Dow Jones Industrial Average, as well as news on individual stocks and the overall market. As of April 14, 2023, the U.S. stock market experienced a mixed day, with the Wall Street ending lower due to mixed economic data and strong bank earnings. However, the NYSE U.S. 100 Index, Dow Jones Industrial Average, and S&P 500 Index all closed higher. The Nasdaq Composite, S&P 500, DJ Total Stock Market, and Russell 2000 Indices all experienced losses. The Market Watch summary of the U.S. stock market provides current status of DJI, NASDAQ, S&P, Dow, NYSE, and more. Forbes reports that the Consumer Price Index gained 6% year-over-year in February, down from peak inflation levels of 9.1% in June 2022, but still well above the average of 2%. The NYSE New York Stock Exchange is one of the largest stock exchanges in the world, and it offers a variety of indices to track the performance of different segments of the market. The NYSE Composite Index had a 52-week range of 13,278.56 to 16,882.64, and a YTD change of 2.75% as of April 14, 2023. The NYSE US 100 Index, Dow Jones Industrial Average, and S&P 500 Index are some of the major indices that are tracked by the NYSE. The Market Watch summary of the US stock market provides current status of DJI, NASDAQ, S&P, Dow, NYSE. The Wall Street Journal is an American business and economic-focused international daily newspaper based in New York City, with international editions published in Chinese and Japanese. The journal and its Asian editions are published six days a week by Dow Jones & Company, a division of News Corp. The Wall Street Journal provides trusted insights and in-depth analysis on breaking news, business, financial, and economic topics from the U.S. and around the world. It has been a trusted name since 1889 for unparalleled analysis and unique reporting informing decisions that drive. The WSJ shop offers full, original, newsprint back issues of the Wall Street Journal newspaper. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos.
Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.